Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, a couple weeks ago I took a poll adding a new spread, looking at adding a new spread to my channel and this was the one that got the most votes. So we're going to be looking at your connection to your strongest connection at this time. Uh, just like my other connection readings, we're looking at all three sides of it. So we've got your energy toward it, the other person's energy toward it, and then the um, kind of higher level unbiased truth in the middle. This middle section still looking at, you know, what is the deeper purpose of this connection at this time? What is this trying to teach you? Um, and what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self? As I do in all my readings, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages. And then I have this overall theme for the reading, um, which we'll jump into in just a second. But I have a different tarot deck we'll be using for each side of this connection, as well as the advice deck that I'll be closing out the reading with in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings and they will not resonate fully for everyone. They're not here to resonate fully for everyone. So please remember to to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. And on that note, these energies can be swapped. So if you resonate more with the energy to my right than to my left, that's totally fine and totally normal. The whole reading can be reversed. So again, please remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, Capricorn. Um, on your side of this connection, you have step out of your comfort zone with the Three of Cups. So this connection, in a lot of ways, really pushes you out of your comfort zone. And I feel like it is in your nature, Capricorn, to kind of um, want to shut down or want to run away from this. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, especially if you're used to kind of runner chaser dynamics, I'm not saying you are running from this, but I do feel like it is kind of the instinct in this connection for you to maybe, you know, close off or get, go into protect yourself mode, um, you know, things of that nature. So I feel like that's kind of the energy that you're in with this connection. Like maybe you've never felt this way before. Or you've never, you know, had a relationship that's this serious before. Or, I mean, I, who knows? You know, it could be anything. But I do feel like it definitely pushes you out of your comfort zone in a lot of ways. Now this person, I feel like it's the same because they have don't let pride get in your way with the Ace of Swords in reverse. I feel like um, they have a tendency to allow their pride and their ego to kind of control things. And pride and ego, you know, it's so demonized in our, in our culture. And, and this idea of like an egotistical person is, you know, someone who's very full of themselves and fair, someone who, you know, um, acts like big narcissist, right? Kind of narcissist and egotistical seem to kind of go hand in hand. But that's not how I view this energy. You know, everyone has an ego and a lot of people are allowing that ego to make decisions for them. Our ego is literally just our survival mechanism here to keep us alive. Um, and sometimes what it'll do is it'll protect us from things that make us feel really uncomfortable. So I feel like that's kind of what is happening with this person. It's interesting because I actually feel like you both feel very similar about this connection in um, a certain way when it comes to like, it's uncomfortable, but it's good. You know, uh, the overall theme for this reading is give your relationship a chance and it says work on your partnership. So I feel like um, right now is not a time to like make decisions or to, I don't know, like I just, I feel like right now is a time to kind of focus on maybe how this connection is pushing you, uh, pushing you out of your comfort zone and trying not to go immediately into your instinct of maybe trying to pull back or like I said, like hide parts of yourself or something of that nature. So let's see what we have here. We're going to start Capricorn with your side of this connection. Step out of your comfort zone with the three of cups. What does Capricorn need to know regarding their energy toward the person they have the strongest connection to at this time. This is Capricorn side of this connection. Capricorn side of this connection. Capricorn side of the connection to the person they are the most strongly connected to at this time. That's funny, there's a Three of Cups, um, Six of Pentacles, this is a lot, Reverse, Five of Pentacles, okay, Five of Cups. I 
feel, Capricorn, as if you have a past of being pretty disappointed in your relationships and in your connections. Now, that doesn't need to just mean romantically. Like, maybe you have a tendency whenever you give something your all, it's not reciprocated. Or when you're, you know, you're in a connection with someone, you have a tendency to show up for them, um, but they never really show up for you. And I feel like it's kind of interesting because I feel like in this connection, this uh, person kind of triggers that fear of that expectation, you know, getting the short end of the stick, almost expecting loss. And that's because it's, you, it's what you've experienced. So it's totally natural. You know, our relationships are our biggest teachers because they bring up our past and our traumas and, and force us to face those things. Um, but with the hangman in reverse, it's kind of this feeling of um, really holding on to how connections in the past have affected you and almost like expecting that out of this connection, which is why I feel like you have give your relationship a chance. I do feel like there's this need to kind of give this person a chance. Now maybe um, in some way, maybe they have, you know, triggered you or triggered your fear of loss or your expectation of, of disappointment. Um, if there's one thing that I've learned in any relationship, it's that everyone deserves a second chance. Every single person on this planet deserves a second chance. Um, you really don't start getting into trouble until you're handing out third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh million chances, right? So I do feel like what this reading is kind of saying is like there is still potential here and um, almost like, I don't know, because with the Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, like this is a very positive energy. This feels like past energy, past energy that you're holding on to and maybe has a tendency to kind of come out in this connection a little bit. Um, but I do feel like, I don't know, it feels like there's a positive aspect to this connection. Now, if you're in a situation where someone is letting you down over and over and over again, um, you know, then it might be like, have, you know, have you set a boundary? Have you stood up for yourself? And has that person continuing not to show up for you or disappoint you or let you down? That's a whole different story, right? That's when you kind of have to take a deeper look at things. But I feel like as of right now, the biggest thing in this connection is that this person kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone. It feels like, well, let me just keep going. Capricorn side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. This could be someone you haven't met yet. I'm kind of getting the vibe too. Capricorn side of the connection to the person they have the strongest connection to at this time. Yeah, the negative expectations. You have, ne it's like you're going into this expecting things to fall apart. Now, again, I completely get that because you're like, oh, I've been there before. But I feel like it's been really hard for you to drop your guard in this connection and like fully trust this person. Um, and, and ultimately Capricorn, like trust yourself, right? Like this isn't just about um, the other person, you know, other, our connections with other people are a direct um, reflection of our relationship with ourselves. So kind of needing to, to see that there is, cause you have nothing as yet set in stone with the page of pentacles. Did I go over? I don't think I went over this future or this uh, truth energy, but you have nothing as yet set in stone with the page of pentacles. And to me, that is like nothing set in stone with this connection, but there is like opportunity that exists within the connection, but nothing is yet set in stone. And I feel like that's because, you know, two people can make any connection work as long as both people are willing to do the work to make it happen. So, all right. Capricorn side of this connection. But yeah, you have these negative expectations. You're kind of holding on um, to loss from the past, which is making it hard, I feel like, for you to maybe really fully invest in this. Um, you know, let your guard down. Feel safe to do that. Capricorn side of the connection. And it takes a while to build trust, you know. Um, it's, it's okay. Capricorn side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Your confidence is triggered in this connection. Your confidence is triggered in this connection. What does that mean? Let me get more on this. The strength of the Knight of Cups in reverse. 
confidence is triggered in this connection. Confidence is triggered in this connection. I get it. It's less that you have like, man, Capricorn, I feel like you're just dealing with a really heavy past. I feel like that's the biggest thing here. It's almost like, you know, one of the things that I've learned a lot in our relationships is that the first way that we tend to view somebody's words, actions, um, behavior is through the lens of our fears and our insecurities, typically through our past. I know when I got into my relationship with my current partner, who's hands down the best person I've ever had the privilege of being in a relationship with, um, I had a lot of baggage from my past, from emotionally abusive relationships to just toxic codependent ones. Like there were a lot of things that I carried into this relationship from my past. And yes, I did healing and yes, I spent time alone. But when I got into this connection, I w it was like all of that healing was triggered all over again. And I would find myself kind of getting upset about things he would say. I'm trying to think of an example, but I can't think of anything. And he'd be like, I didn't mean it like that. Like I, and he would always have to remind me, like, I'm not the same as like the people you've dated before. Like I'm going to show up if you, you know, if you're triggered by something I say, let me know, but also allow me to explain that that's not what I meant. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening in this connection a little bit. Like maybe you have a tendency to read into what this person is saying or what they're thinking and like trying to almost like make sure that you're not missing something because you have been hurt before. And it's really easy to get yourself in that position when you've, you know, when you've had confidence and faith in someone in the past and then you're in kind of a new connection and, you know, you've been let down and that faith ended up kind of getting you screwed over. It's hard to to find that again. Um, but the best way to, to figure out if you can trust someone in my and in, in how I've learned in my life is showing up as your authentic self. And if you feel accepted for being that version of you by speaking your truth, by being 100% yourself, then that is someone who you can trust because that is someone who is willing to fully accept you 100% for who you are. Now, a lot of us have a tendency to kind of hide who we are at the beginning of connections. Um, and then as things kind of come out, that's when things start to clash. But I feel like, um, and maybe that's another thing about like stepping out of your comfort zone is allowing yourself to be vulnerable because you're never gonna know if you don't try, right? You're looking to be loved for who you are. If you don't give yourself the opportunity to be loved, then you're never going to receive that love that you're truly desiring. Um, so you have to give yourself the opportunity to be loved by being willing to be vulnerable and show up and, and trust and have faith even when you've kind of had a tough past. And trust me, I know how hard that is. I would like, like we would have these dates planned at like 6 or 7 p.m. when we first started dating and I would find myself like in tears at like noon that day expecting him to cancel and expecting him to bail or to um, come up with an excuse or to not text me back and, and then all of a sudden I'm ghosted. Like I literally had all of this trauma coming up in the relationship where I was being treated well and I think that that's really common um, when you're starting a new relationship or even if you've been in a relationship with someone for a while. Capricorn side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. This definitely is a very different vibe than the love readings I'm used to doing on this channel. Okay, Capricorn side of the connection to the strongest connection they have at this time. Ooh, your ego wants to keep you from the potential in this connection because of your past. Look at that, the Six of Cups in reverse. Um, it's vitally important... Oh, my dog's dreaming. <laughs> it's kind of cute. She's barking in her sleep. Hopefully it's a good dream and not a nightmare. Um, I feel like your ego, you know, and maybe just pay attention to this in all of your connections. If you've been hurt in the past, your ego is going to have a tendency to come in and say, you need to protect yourself like tenfold by being defensive or, um, you know, trying to predict what this person is going to do before they have a tendency to hurt you, you know, or before they have the opportunity to hurt you. And that's, you know, if you're in that state, then you probably are needing to maybe spend a little bit more time alone and in healing. But I do feel like, um, 
I don't know. I feel like there's a need to set boundaries in this connection like as soon as you can because that was the other thing I noticed about this healthy connection that I have is when I started setting boundaries about and, and it, a lot of things haven't come up but in the beginning like I would say this is what I require like this is what I need especially when we moved in together it was like these are this is how I you know need my house to be this is and he showed up every single time yeah he made mistakes and there were times I had to speak up for myself but he showed up every single time and giving effort to respect the things that I was asking for in the connection now um, it goes both ways right I've had to do the same thing and so I feel like that's why in this connection I kind of feel like maybe there's a little bit of a lack of communication or not even just communication, but definitely vulnerability. And when that's the case, when you're not being fully vulnerable and communicating where, you know, what you're feeling and where you're coming from and the other person isn't either, you're going to read or try and read into what the other person is thinking, and feeling and doing. And again, you're going to see that through your fears, doubts and insecurities, and that's going to cause you to get defensive or start to project, you know, those fears, doubts and insecurities on the other person. So the best possible um, chance you have at creating a healthy sustainable relationship is showing up as your authentic self and just being a hundred percent like in the beginning when I started dating this person I'm not just talking about myself and my relationship for the hell of it like I really am feeling like um, I'm getting kind of what this energy is like but when I first started dating the person I was dealing with I literally was like here I am like this is everything about me here's my past here like I just kind of we kind of trauma dumped on each other in the very beginning I'm not necessarily saying that's the healthiest thing but it was very much just like this is it and like if it because I wanted to know like if you're not okay with that then I'm you know I'm not gonna waste my time anymore um so showing up as your most authentic self and kind of almost because with this give give your relationship a chance it literally feels like give this person the opportunity to love you because sometimes we hold back and we wait for the other person to love us but we never give them the chance to do that like maybe you're waiting on them to be vulnerable first or you know whatever the case might be this is capricorn side of the connection to the person they are dealing with giving this person the chance to love you that's a really big theme i'm seeing on your side this is capricorn side of this connection judgment death Capricorn, it feels like you're already preparing for the worst. Relationships always end. People always leave. Um, like that kind of energy. But here's the thing. If you can learn from those past relationships, the things that didn't work out, the way that other people, you know, didn't respect you or didn't respect your boundaries or you couldn't, you know, because um, I feel like, I'm going to be honest, Capricorn, this feels a lot like trust issues. And I'm not saying they're not valid. But you can't go into a connection and build a connection from the ground up in a healthy way if there's trust issues, right? So maybe this is like, if you've been in a connection with this person for a while, like getting back to a place of trust or um, learning that you can trust this person or at least giving, like, giving this person the opportunity to prove to you that they're trustworthy almost. It, it feels like you're kind of, and I, I get it, I've been there, but almost like looking for reasons you can't trust them a little bit, like um, looking for reasons to kind of walk away or give up on this or start a fight or whatever the case is. And, and then you have to ask yourself, like, has this person given me reasons not to trust them? Because that's, if that's the case, that's a totally different thing, right? There needs to be a completely different conversation that's had. Um, trust has to be rebuilt you know, things of that nature. But I feel like your focus so much is, is kind of on like the fact that you, you, it's like you, you're going into this or you very much feel like you can't trust them. But I feel like, I don't know if you've given them the opportunity to be trustworthy and to love you. I'm not saying you haven't. I feel like I'm talking to two different collectives. I feel like I'm talking to someone who maybe has a history with this person and like, like I said, kind of getting like learning to build back trust in the connection. And then I feel like I, I'm talking to a collective of people who are like in a new connection or like new ish, like last couple of years um, kind of thing or months, you know, take it as it resonates, but and tr are trying to like learn to trust someone new. So I do feel like I'm talking to a couple of different collectives here. Capricorn side of this connection to 
a person they have the strongest connection to at this time. Capricorn side of this connection to the person they have the strongest connection to at this time. Ten of Wands with the Temperance in reverse. Okay. I feel like, okay, because this is like talking about like kind of baggage from your past. Baggage from your past that has kind of come into this connection and is directly impacting um, the connection's ability to kind of come together in a healthy way. And this past, I don't know, it's like, I want more on this because you have the temperance in reverse with the seven of wands in reverse. Let me clarify this message. Temperance in reverse with the seven of wands in reverse. Because your baggage, you don't want to let allow your baggage from the past to sabotage this. That's like the biggest thing coming through. In this now I will say in a lot of my past connections like where I've had to do a lot of reflecting on that person's kind of side of things versus you know my side of things is it's really easy to see how other people's baggage is affecting them like how you know their trust issues and and you know the things that they're struggling with are, are, are affecting the connection because it's always easier to see from that perspective right from the outside looking in but I also feel like this is you needing to make sure that you, you know, are, are being aware, um, and this goes for any connection that you want to build, whether it's a friendship or, you know, a, a romantic connection, you know, making sure that you look at the person that you're dealing with as somebody with a clean slate, you know, being able to say, you're not my past, and I'm gonna, my past is going to be triggered through this because that's just how connections work, but I'm not going to allow it to, um, to control my movements, choices, and decisions, you know, reactions in this connection, learning kind of how to respond rather than react. But all right, let's see what this person is dealing with. You have don't let pride get in your way with the ace of swords in reverse, the person that Capricorn has the strongest connection to at this time, side of the connection to Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know regarding this person's energy toward them? This person's energy toward Capricorn. This person's energy, I want it to turn all the way around or hit the table. That's why I'm not taking those. This person's energy toward Capricorn. Ooh. They have a history too. They have baggage too. They have a history of loss, which everyone has a history. That's not like a surprise or anything. But um, it might be this person's instinct whenever that history is triggered to like, like fight or flight mode, like this person goes into flight mode. Like get out, get away, distance myself. Like maybe this person runs away in the middle of arguments or, um, you know, tries to like has walked away from the connection in the past or like, I don't know, in some way, shape or form, like I've said like so many times, but when they're feeling very triggered, almost their initial reaction is get out, get away. I'm triggered. I'm, I'm unsafe. Kind of get out, get away. Um, you know, I can feel for this person in that sense because that's me. <laughs> I go into flight mode. And luckily I have a partner who is very willing to handle that when that's the case. And, you know, if we're having an argument and I, you know, I'll always, I've learned to do it in a little bit more of a, a healthy manner. And we don't have arguments all that often, but in the times where we, where things are kind of getting highly emotional, I've learned that I have to be like, I, I, I have got to, like, I've got to remove myself from this right now because I can feel myself getting emotional. And I know that when that's the case, I start reacting and then he reacts to my reactions and it doesn't get us anywhere. So we've kind of learned to take our space and then kind of come back when things are, are a little bit more, when we're both a little bit more grounded and able to see a little bit clearer. But I do feel like, um, 
I don't know, I feel like this person has this, this history maybe of walking away when things get hard too or have dealt with people who have done that to them. And, you know, we, if we don't heal, we kind of can come to become the people who have hurt us. This person's energy toward Capricorn, but they definitely have a flight tendency. <laughs> this person's a flight risk. Uh, not actually, like I don't, I, that's, I'm not getting like this, oh, they're gonna walk away or anything. Uh, but that's why you both have, give, give your relationship a chance. This person's energy toward Capricorn. Just star in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. This person doesn't know how to receive love. The star in reverse, six of pentacles in reverse. Not like completely, but they struggle with it. They struggle with how to receive love. Now, maybe because to them love, they've never maybe experienced unconditional love or healthy love even and don't know how to... You know, when someone doesn't know how to, ex how to accept healthy love, they're always going to be kind of ready to leave right kind of always um on the verge of like walking out because there's a part of them that's like trying to protect themselves in that way so i don't think this person really knows how to receive love in a super healthy manner now that's not your burden to bear that's not your problem to fix that is this person's need for healing with the star in reverse this this person's need for healing because i feel as if especially with the empress in reverse i feel like they might have a tendency to push away love um but that's remember that's kind of their pride and their ego with the ace of swords in reverse their pride and their ego kind of getting in the way it's interesting. I feel like both people have trust issues in this, for sure. Both people have some trust issues from their past. This person's energy toward Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know regarding this person's energy? I don't know, this person is, okay, so this person is very used to being valued for things outside of themselves. So their looks, their success, their finances, like things that don't have to do with maybe even the reasons why you love them. Um, they're very used to being valued for external things about themselves, which is maybe why they don't know how to receive genuine healthy love. Maybe they've never actually experienced being loved for who they are. Like they've always felt kind of undervalued or valued for the wrong things in their connections. This person's energy toward Capricorn. This person's energy toward Capricorn. This person's energy toward Capricorn. Man, yeah. It's like they're afraid to fully invest. They, I mean, because this is, they've had this Ten of Swords in their past. Now, I feel like you do too. I actually feel like you and this person have, I don't want to say necessarily a similar past, but it's definitely similar wounds from your past. 
Theirs could have started a little bit more in childhood. Yours too. It, it doesn't matter. It could, it could be either of you. Um, but this past that they have heavily affects this connection. And that's for both of you. Because both of you feel with the Justice in Reverse that you've gotten screwed over in love. And so both of you, I feel, have brought that wound into this connection. And it's triggering. You're triggering that in each other. Um, the only thing that is going to get you through that with anybody is going to be communication. Being able to be honest about how you feel with love, you know, not coming from a place of defensiveness, use, not using language such as you do this or you make you, you make me feel this way, but like being like, I feel, you know, when, when, when you do these things, I feel this way. You know, not accusatory language, like you do these things or you make me feel this way, but I feel when you do these things. Um, now, communication's hard. Because communication is a two-way street. It takes both people being willing to, first and foremost, speak their truth, coming from a place of vulnerability. But also, and this goes for both people in, in a connection, being willing to hear the other person's truth without being defensive. Being able to say, this is how I feel, and being able to listen to how the other person feels without that defensive kind of um, tendency kicking in. And we all had it. And I feel like that is the biggest thing that's needed in this connection is communication. This person's energy toward Capricorn. This person's energy toward Capricorn. This person has hope for this connection. But I don't feel like they're doing a whole lot of investing in that. I feel like there's a lot of waiting for the other person to make the other person feel like secure and like they can trust the other person. Um, I get that. Again, that's common. Like, it's like they have hope. They see you make them feel good, but then it's like they have hope, but they're afraid to have hope. Like they have hope, so they're but they're afraid to have hope, so they're afraid to invest in that hope. And I honestly feel, Capricorn, like you're the same. Now, none of this that I'm talking about with this person is yours to fix or yours to heal, but it can maybe help give you a deeper understanding for why things are the way that they are and give you some tools to be able to, you know, approach them in a healthy way. This person's energy toward... Capricorn, now both people have to be willing to find a solution, right? That's the, why I feel like that's why you have nothing is yet set in stone. This person's side of the connection toward Capricorn. This person's side, the strength in reverse. See, you had the strength in reverse too. It's like, or no, you had that your um, confidence is being triggered. But I feel like this is, um, this person doesn't, it's like they don't, have confidence in their ability to not mess things up. That's what it feels like. They they don't have confidence in their ability to not mess things up. And I feel like that comes that comes out in how they invest in this connection. Maybe they hold back or they don't give you as much as, as you give them. Now, that's not healthy and I'm not saying, oh, you know, give this person the benefit of the doubt. They have a past. This is why they are the way they are. No, I'm not saying, you know, just unconditional love and empathy does not mean you accept behavior um, is not equal in conditional tolerance. I say that all the time. Why did I just blank on that? Um, you know, but I, I think that it can help you be less defensive in your communication and in your approach to this connection whenever you can understand why someone is the way that they are. It's like, because they have the strength in reverse of the tower. Like they don't have confidence in their ability to not mess this up. And that's why I feel... And I feel like you don't have confidence in their ability to not mess this up because you've been hurt so much. Maybe they've, you know, sabotaged connections in the past or have maybe either hurt themselves or been hurt. Um, same for you. And so I feel like there's a lot of baggage coming into this, which is natural and normal. You know, we're all adults here, or at least you should be 18 or older if you're watching my readings. But um, we're all adults here and we're all going to have a past. But as long, you know, it is not anybody else's responsibility to be able to handle that past. It is our responsibility to be able to be aware of our past and make decisions that don't allow that past to control us in our present. 
All right, Capricorn, we're going to hop on over to the extended. You have nothing as yet set in stone with the Page of Pentacles. I'm going to pull nine different messages looking at the deeper truth of this connection and what you need to know in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. Thank you so much, Capricorn, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, I wish you absolutely nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. All right, bye, Capricorn.